Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Carlos, how's it going? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alain, How, how's it going? I'm very well, teacher. How about you? I'm great. I'm doing great, too. How's the weather? It's very hot here. That I heard. I heard it was hot, but here it just it just rained a lot. Here, at here in Miral Valle, Mexicanos, it rained a lot. Aquí nada, nada, nada. Nothing over here. Nothing okay. over here. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, how do you doing? How's it going? Okay. Oh, ready? Ready to cook? Yes. Ready. Okay. Good guys. I'm just waiting for the rest. Janeth is coming. How many? How many are you? How many are you in the class? Uh, like twelve. Twelve, the most. Yeah, the most twelve. Okay. That's the most. So let me just take notes of your names because we will do them right now. I have Alain, Ricardo, Anthony, I see. I also have Roberto, Janet, Daniel, Carlos. Okay, I think I'm not missing anybody. We're eight in total. So let's start. Thank you. Let's start with uh, cooking. Sandra is coming too. Okay, so today we're gonna cook. Uh, we have to go with the um, connectors or the sequence adverbs remember uh, did you watch the video did you see the video on the platform yes yeah you also have here the connectors can you see them the sequence the sequence yeah sequence okay. adverbs. I, I was about to do this <laughs> <laughs> okay so you have first okay. first of all first who can read who can read the second one you have first of all and then first of all okay firstly it says first firstly second secondly okay next it's like segundamente okay okay next yeah next then then and then finally 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 okay finally but the ones on the website were similar, right? First, then, next, after that, okay? And finally. So let's cook. Uh, I have Gerardo coming too. Okay, so we're missing Gerardo here. There we go. Okay, guys, so I was ready for you. So we can do this a lot of fun. Don't get nervous. You need to speak. Remember, it's very important. So let's go with your names here, okay? Am I missing anybody? No? <laughs> okay. Hey, let's start it. Hey, no. Let's no, play. mama. Okay, my mom. <laughs> no, no. Mama, no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Gerardo. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Por ser el tardista. <laughs> okay. Hey, teacher. Yo no controlo eso, eh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Carlos, no problem. Carlos is coming too. Give me one second. Let me add Carlos. Carlos. There are two Carlos. So, let me see. Carlos Calderon and Carlos, the other Carlos. Okay. Carlos Calderon. Okay. Ready. Oh, sorry. Ah, wait, wait, wait. I clicked it by mistake. No. 
Okay. Good. Let's go with Gerardo. I'm going to take notes. So whenever you're ready, Gerardo, tell us your receipt and the procedure that you're going to follow to cook for us. Three, two, one, go. Uh, sorry, teacher. But we have to in pairs or? Yeah, one by one. Okay, but uh, Anthony, start. Why? No. Don't worry. Aunque Anthony lo repita, lo que quiero es escucharte a ti, leer, hablar sobre la receta, ¿ok? Si te la aprendiste, bueno, si no, tranquilo, léela. Vamos a corregir pronunciación, más que todo ahorita, ¿ok? Pronunciation, ¿ok? Ahorita van a ver cómo. 3, 2, 1, Gerardo, action. Ok, good evening, teacher and classmate. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, my recipe. And my recipe is about uh, the healthy pancakes. Okay, uh, first, uh, we for this recipe, uh, we use only three ingredients. And there are uh, banana, uh, eggs, and onions. Uh, first, we have to put the bananas in a bowl and we have to smash the banana. Then, of that, we have to add the two eggs and we have to mix the banana with the eggs. After that, uh, we have to put the ants and we have to mix of the ingredients. Uh, and finally, we have to put the blend in the pan and we have to cook around uh, one minute per se and it's too ready to eat. Wow. Okay. Okay. Decía, las personas que hablan muy rápido suelen ser muy inteligentes. Eh, en cuanto a pronunciación, es eh, bien poco lo que te anoté, Gerardo. Great job. Very good. It's really good, actually. Um, para ser profesor hay que tener oído clínico, señor Higa. A veces cuesta, pero estuvo súper bien. Let's see. Uh, Gerardo, no te escuché el M. So, I'm, I'm going to talk. Okay, y es un error común, no sé, tienes que decir, I'm, I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk, uh -huh. por ir rápido te puede pasar, I going, yeah. I going to talk, no, I'm going to talk, okay, recipe, the recipe, recipe, aprendo una nueva palabra, okay, en inglés no existe el acento, no existe una figura que te dé la entonación no existe el acento el palito que nosotros ponemos en el castellano no existe el estrés de la sílaba oí es una clave para aprender a pronunciar cada palabra es que aprendes una nueva palabra la escuchas identificas dónde va el estrés ok recipe 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 ok Um, segunda cosa, en español no tenemos ninguna palabra que empiece con S. Por lo tanto, nuestro cerebro cree que debe de agregar la S. S. Uh -huh. Ok, so you say smash. 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 You say student. Ok. You say stay. Ok. You say smash. Ok. Gerardo. Ok. Oh, good. Ok. Uh, aquí se me perdí, fíjate. Sorry. You put the ants. ¿Qué era esa palabra? Eh, avena. Oh. Hmm. How do you say avena in English? I search. And... Mm -hmm. I did a research. I did a research. I look for it. Ots. Ots. Oh. Ots. Ots, ots, ots. Is that not how do you spell it? I forgot. I'm sorry. Uh, o A T S. Oats. Yeah. Okay. Oats. Oats. The oats. Okay. okay. We have to cook around. We have to cook it. We have to cook it for. We have to cook it around. Wait. We have to cook it around 20 minutes. We have to cook it around. We have around. to. We have to cook it around. We have to cook it for about, for around, no, for 
No, we have to cook it around 20 minutes. We have to cook it around 20 minutes. El, el objeto. We have to cook it around 20 minutes, okay? Okay. Good. Very good. Wow. Thank you. Really good. Okay, let's move on. Next person. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Don't look. Don't look. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Alguien más se unió? ¿Quién se unió? ¿Quién no está en este listado? Somebody, please. Who came last? Sonia, right? Yeah, Sonia. Okay. Let me add you here. Okay, ready? Let's go. Oh, oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> She was like, oh my god, oh my god. Alain. <laughs> okay. Why me? Okay. Alain, ready? Three, two, one, action. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am going to talk about my recipe. Uh, this name is the perfect pizza. Okay. First, spread the jar of pizza sauce all over the pizza crust. After that, sprinkle the mozzarella cheese on top of the sauce. Next, put the slices of pepperoni on top of the cheese. Then drop pieces of green pepper and black olive all over the pizza. Finally, uh, finally, put the pizza in the oven and take it for 25 minutes. Serve it hot and enjoy it. Okay, good. Great job. Okay, serve it. Serve it. Good. I like that. Great job. Okay, let's go with the feedback really quick. Bien, chicos, eh, muchos pueden estar cometiendo ese pequeño, que pueden tener esta pequeña área de oportunidad. Esta palabrita es un dolor de cabeza, ¿ok? Y es porque son tres sonidos o cuatro. Y first, ¿ok? So, lo voy a hacer una vez. ¿Ok? ¿Otra vez? First. Y es una E. So, we say first. First. Perfect. Very good. First. 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 Excellent. Okay, next. You don't say sauce. Sauce, okay? You say sauce. Tomato sauce. sauce. Tomato sauce. 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 Sí? Tomato sauce. Okay. Bien, okay? Un poco gentil, no? a little bit gentle. Tomato sauce. Okay? Sprinkle. 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 Área de oportunidad de esta noche. Alain, no tenemos palabras en español que empiecen con S, o so estás agregando la E, E, E antes. Libra machete. Ok. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Slices. 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 Ahí, perfecto. Slices. Slices. Ok. okay. Si te preguntan que si un objeto es pequeño, sería tu respuesta. It's... Small. ¿Cómo dirías esto? Small. Ok. It's small. It's small. Perfect. Unís las dos S. Very good. It's small. Ok. Una más. The article, the, se pronuncia también como the. The sí. oven. The oven. The okay. oven. Importantísimo, si te encontrás un gringo y le decís the United States, te va a decir no. The United States. The United States. Va una U después. Ok, so, después del artículo the, si hay una vocal, se pronuncia como the. Si va una consonante, se pronuncia como the. Ok. Yeah. And last, este chico es un pronombre. Y el pronombre it, al ser pronombre, al ir al final de una oración, pero se pronuncia como et. Et. It. Serve it. Serve it. Serve it. Mm -hmm. sí, porque serve soy... it hot. Serve it hot. Perfect. En lugar de serve it, serve it, 
Se raro, ¿no? Servet Hut. Servet Hut. Ok. Excellent. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Take a look at it. Oye, take a look at it. Take a look at it. Take, take a, look. a look at it. Perfect. Míralo. Very good. Great job. Ok, let's go with next victim. I mean, participant. Let's see. Tan, 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 tan. Okay, we have Carlos. Where's Carlos? Okay, uh oh, which one? Carlos Calderon. Okay, good. Ready? Carlos Calderon. Three, two, one, action. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, we have uh, some projection or, como se dice, PowerPoint. Uh, Oh, you have a slice. A slice, yeah. Slice presentation. Okay. A slice. That, that is that a slice. Our receipt is Salvadorian. Is a Salvadorian receipt. Okay. Oh. Who's your couple? Uh, Roberto Santos. Roberto is he here? Is he Roberto is here? Yeah. Okay, Roberto. I'll delete you from the list too, so you can participate. <laughs> at the same time with the presentation, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Okay, okay teach. Uh, we have a Salvadorian proceed of bean soup with a pork rib. Pork rib. Mm, next, please. Let's slice, please, Roberto. Okay. El de la diapositiva con el presidente. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ingredients. Two pounds of Salvadorian beans. One pound of pork rib, two tomatoes, one onion, one head garlic, salt, cream, cheese, and tortillas. Next, the process. First, clean beans and pork rib, then Put them in a pot. Next, add four liters of water, one head garlic, two tomatoes, one onion, and two tablespoons of salt. After that, put in the kitchen on high heat for two hours. Finally, serve in a bowl with cream, cheese, tortillas, and enjoy. That's it. And that's it. Woo, very good, delicious. Actually, uh, my wife is cooking that right now. <laughs> that smells good, I think. Thank you very much for your attention. Any questions to the teacher? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> hey, that was good. Great job like that okay uh roberto, if thank you, you roberto if you can stop sharing <laughs> let me see if i can do it okay good so thank you let's go with the feedback really quick i like that here okay head garlic can somebody help me correcting this what's wrong there one head garlic, you said? Is the everything seed of garlic in that? Yeah, but, okay, super quick. Just this garlic. Garlic head. In English, the adjective qualifies the noun. So it's the opposite. In Spanish, you say first the noun and then the adjective. El carro rojo. But in English, it's the red car. Okay? So okay. in this case, ¿de qué es la cabeza? 
este ajo. Ajá, the garlic head. One garlic head. Ok. No, ¿de qué es el ajo? De cabeza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so be careful. Hey, next. Pronunciation. Again. Herbs. First. Revisa este video en YouTube después y busque esa parte. Ok. Hey, no se preocupen, hay que ir corrigiendo. It's not water or water. Esta tipa que está aquí es una O. Ok, so you say water. 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 Repeat, water. Water. Good. This is another O, so you say salt. Salt. Okay. Salt. And this is not with, it is with. 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 Okay? So it is with. 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 Why? Cada vez que veas una TH, le decía en la clase anterior, this is a Z. Okay? With. Okay. Siempre la TH va a hacer que tu boca se posicione como que vas a decir una Z, a veces vas a soplar, a veces no, y decís the, the, with, ok? Good, great job, let's move on. Who's next? Next victim, I mean, participant. Yeah, that, let's see. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, I swear. No I, se vale. No, was my, no. Okay, teacher. Ya lo había dicho, Janet, que usted iba a ¿verdad? tocar, ya había dicho, ah, sí. Malo. Sí. Esa era trampa. Sí, trampa. Uh, good evening. I, One, two. I'm, I'm going to uh, speak uh, pancake recipe. recipe. Uh, the ingredient ingredients are uh, one cup flour and um, harina. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, three teaspoon baking powder, powder, uh, three tablespoon butter, one tablespoon vanilla, uh, one small cup uh, milk, one egg. Uh, first. Uh, melt the butter in microwave for 30 seconds. Set aside. Um, then, in a medium bowl, mix together flour, uh, sugar, and baking powder. Uh, next, add milk and egg, egg together. After that, pour the butter, vanilla, and milk. Make sure into bowl. Uh, next, next, use a <laughs> wire. <laughs> uh, wish to start everything together until just uh, combine. Com then, uh, hollow the butter to rest while. Heating a lightly oiled skillet to medium high heat. Uh, after that, pour the butter onto the skillet with a large spoon. Finally, cook each side for three or six minutes until lightly golden brown and serve with honey. Perfect. Muy larga, teacher. <laughs> Oh, good. Don't worry. That was really good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, recipe. Uh -huh. Okay. The recipe. Yeah. The uh, stress. The stress is on the first syllable. So you say recipe. 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 Hace dos años yo aún decía floor. Decía floor. Estigue sobre sonidos homófonos. Y descubrí que esto suena igual a esto. Ajá. So you say flower. Flower. Ajá. Oh. Era mi duda, porque yo así la estaba, este... Son Ajá. Ajá. Lo mismo flower. que stare. Ajá. Stare, de mirar fijamente a alguien. Stare. Se pronuncia igual que stare. Ok. okay. Son homófonos. Ok. Powder. Powder. Esa palabra ah. es muy británica. Powder. 
powder. Butter. Powder. 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 Cada ingrediente, cada ingrediente que iba diciendo iba, iba faltando esto. De, oh, spoon of uh -huh. butter. Spoon of butter. Three. Uh, okay. Yeah. Pounds of butter. Okay. Uh, o oh, puede decir butter spoons. Butter spoons. Spoons. Uh, oh, butter spoon. Spoon or spoons. Okay. Spoon. Good. Aquí no sonaba la S. El no, el sí, ajá, yo la digo como si la S. Ojo con eso. X. Es que sale un huevo. Okay. That's an egg. An egg. Uh -huh. Oh, one egg. Okay. Uh -huh. no. One egg. Ya dejó de decir butter, empezó a decir butter. Ah, yeah. butter. Uh -huh. Butter, butter, mm -hmm. butter, butter. Ok. okay. Butter. Whisk. Esta palabra, no me acuerdo cómo la pronuncia. Sí, es bien raro. Whisk. Whisk. Synonyms. Synonyms. Ojo uh -huh. todo. Si no me cuesta pronunciar una palabra, busco sinónimos. Synonyms. Ah, ok. okay. Mix. Ok. Uh -huh. Rumble. Oh, siempre me equivoco. Okay. Uh, scrambles. Crumbles. Scrambles. Crumbles. Revolver, ok. okay. Good. Skillet. 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 Mm -mm. No hay una E antes. Ok. Skillet. Skillet. Perfect. Excellent. Very good. Ok. Good job. Ay, ¿cuál, ¿quién dijo miedo? <laughs> good. <El> miedo. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, let's go with the next participant. Daniel. Where is Daniel? Oh, I didn't put Okay, Daniel. Where is that? Okay. Where is Daniel? I cannot see him. Oh, Good to have a presentation, teacher. Oh, great. Okay, whenever you're ready, take control. Who's your couple? Sandra. Sandra, okay. Se salvo Sandra. Okay, digo. <clears throat> Three, two, one, go. Our receipt is pasta with bacon and tomato sauce. The ingredients are one red onion, two red peppers, bacon, five tomatoes, one cup of water, olive oil, garlic, oregano, and pasta. The process is first, cut the onion, red peppers, and bacon into small pieces. Then heat some olive oil in a pan and fry the onion, red peppers, and bacon. Next, add oregano, garlic, tomato, and water and cook for 20 minutes. After that, cook the pasta in a big pot of boiling water. Finally, serve the pasta with the sauce and enjoy. Easy, simple, very good. The only word that I have for feedback is cut. You say cut and somehow you said cut, cut, yeah, cut, cut. Okay, um, it's very common to hear cut, but it's actually cut, okay, cut. Easy, very simple, great job. Let's go with the next person on the list. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, the other Carlos. Who's the other Carlos? Where is the other Carlos? Okay, I see him. No. Okay, where is the other Carlos? Just leave him here. Uh-uh. He's gone, right? Okay. Hey guys, uh, before we move on, antes de continuar, tengo que tomar un screenshot. Give me one second. Somos 11. We're 11 right now. Okay, so I need you to smile to the camera, please. Okay, three, two, one. There we go. Good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Carlos is gone somehow. So let's see who's next. Who 
Yeah, Anthony, okay. Uh, Anthony? <laughs> okay, good evening, everyone. I'm going to talk about, no, I'm going to present uh, the recipe of the, for the chicken stir fry with vegetable. Can you repeat that, please? Good evening, everyone. I'm going to present the recipe, recipe for the chicken stir fry with vegetable. Uh -oh. Okay. The recipe for the chicken stir fry with vegetable is easy and quick and quick to make. The ingredients that we need to use are zucchini, onions, red pepper, green pepper, mushrooms, carrot, chicken beef, and white wine, and soy. The first thing that we need to do is wash the vegetable, peel the necessary ones, and chop them into pieces of the same size. The, the amount indicator are the taste. So you can add more or less of each ingredient. Then we need to fry the onions un until it becomes transparent. Transparent. Then we add the peppers and the carrot. Carrot. Second, we fry all the vegetable with a little olive oil, minus the mushroom. Time we will add them when the vegetable are almost ready. Also, also, when the vegetables are almost ready, add the zucchini and the mushroom. As we said, the ingredients of the recipe for chicken stir fry with vegetable are variable. So additionally, we can use leek, eggplant, and even broccoli. After the mushroom are ready, put some pieces of chicken. Then add white, white wine, white wine or red sauce. Also blend all the ingredients and let red the chicken with the vegetable. Finally, you can eat the dish with a spaghetti, white rice, or make a sandwich. That's it. Great job. Okay, good job. Okay, um, Anthony, your main area of improvement as Gerardo's is the speed, okay? Don't rush, okay? Don't rush. You know what is to rush? Don't rush. Because if you rush through the words, you step on them. So try to go slowly, okay? Um, okay. And it's a, podemos corregir eso super rápido. So, listen, am, y cuando, um, cuando tratas de hablar rápido, dar velocidad, te comes las cosas, ¿sí? I'm going to. I'm going to. I going to. I'm 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 going to. Ahí, okay. Listen. Oh, o entonas mal, mira, decía present, I'm going to present, I'm going to present, you know, yes, I'm going to present, present, uh -huh. mushrooms, uh, what is it, it's mushrooms, mushrooms, okay, yeah. okay, right, right, writing for this, Mush mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. Mm -hmm. the, again, first, First. 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 Do it again. First. 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 Good. Until. Come on, come on. Again, do it again. <laughs> until it's. Un, un, until. 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 Until it comes. Uh -huh. No puedo decir, until it became, porque está bien, hasta que se convirtió, um, um, uh -huh. hasta que se vuelva, 
Okay, until it becomes. Okay. Oh, Aquí, eh, sí, lo que no me lo sé, me lo invento. <laughs> oh, cuidado con eso todos, eh. Y nos puede pasar. No se preocupen, a mí me pasaba también. Okay, olive, no, olive oil, olive. Olive oil. Olive. 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 Hey, se te volvió tu área de oportunidad hoy, Anthony. ¿Dónde ve el estrés de esa palabra? Olive. Olive. Okay. Olive. Okay. Uh, aquí sí me perdí, fíjate. No sé qué dijiste antes de eso. Era L I I. Oh. L I E. Y la K. Oh, lick, lick eggplant. Ajá. What is that? No, pero de, después del lick va una coma y eggplant es. Oh, lick. Eggplant. What is lick? I'm It's like um. I'm learning. That's great. I don't know. You don't know me neither. Uh, wait. I'm googling it right now. Puerro. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's puerro, really? really? Ya lo había visto, este pero no me acordaba. Lick, puerro. Okay. Ah, por eso el chiste. Okay, there's a leak. There's a leak in my boat. Quien no ha visto lluvia de hamburguesas 2, vean en inglés. Leak, leak. Okay. Una gotera o un puerro, okay. Sauce. Lick. 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 Misma pronunciación, son unos homófonos. Ok, otra vez. Sauce, again. Sauce. So, so. Sauce. 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 Yeah, Sauce. Tomato sauce. That's it. Papa sauce. sauce. Papa sauce. Mm. Good. Ok, hablaba muy rápido. Let red. Let red. Te faltó el et. Let it. Oye, let it. Let it. Let it. Let it. Let it. Rest. Ok. De nuevo, no me crean a mí. Vayan a ver, escuchar let it be. Let it be de los Beatles. No dice let it. Let it be. No, let it. Let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Ok. Don't rush. Ok. That's the area of improvement right now. Intonation. And... Who's last? I think we're missing just one person. Oh, no, two. Sonia and Ricardo. Okay, let's see. Almost done. Uh oh, Sonia. And then we have Ricardo. Okay, let's finish. Sonia and Ricardo. Oh, okay. Good. Ready? Good evening, <laughs> teacher. <laughs> I'm work with Janet. He trabajo conmigo, teacher. I worked. I work, worked with that. Worked that. with Janet. Okay. Good. So you're going to repeat the same thing. That's okay. okay. Don't worry. Go ahead. Okay. Pancake recipe ingredients: one cup flour, three teaspoon baking powder, three tablespoon butter, one tablespoon vanilla, one small cup of milk, and one egg. First, melt the butter in microwave for 30 seconds set aside. Then in a medium bowl, mix together flour, sugar, and baking powder. Next, add milk and egg together. After that, pour the butter, vanilla, and milk mixture in the bowl. Next, use a wire squeak to stir everything together until just combined. Then allow the butter to rest while eating and lightly oil skillet to medium high heat. After that, pour the butter 
on to the skillet with a large spoon and finally cook each side for three or six minutes until lightly golden brown and served with honey. That's it? Okay. Good job. One second. Okay. That was good, actually. It's really good. Eh, con todo respeto, Sonia. Wow. Okay, super bien. Me, me gustó su pronunciación. Fíjese que al principio yo soy bien honesto. Yo dije, está bien nerviosa. Se va a trabar. Ya no, se va a quedar muda. Que ya me ha pasado. Se va a quedar muda. Le va a dar pánico a Nico. Pero no. Súper bien leído. Claro, estás leyendo. Si tú eh, hablaras súper rápido, creo que lo podrías lograr bien rápido. Te cuento. Um, les voy a enviar un video después de la clase sobre eh, una técnica que se llama jam. Jam. No sé si la han escuchado. Just a minute. Just a minute. ¿Sí? Eh, un hindú, eh, una persona de la India, eh, sale ahí hablando, no sé si él fue el que lo inventó, pero te va a dar una técnica para que tú hables más rápido sobre cualquier cosa. Que tengas soltura al hablar. Muy importante, ¿ok? Que tú tengas confianza en vos mismo es muy importante. So, let's see. Ingredients. Hablábamos de la estrés en la sílaba, right? So, syllable stretch, grit, grit, grit. Ingredients. Uh, mismo área de oportunidad de Janet. <laughs> eggs. Ok, eggs. Sí, trabajamos juntas, ok. Skillet. <laughs> Skillet, chicos, para los que se están preguntando, ya lo buscaron, es un sinónimo de pan. Ok, skillet, pan. Minutes. Mm -mm. Minutes. 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 Mm -hmm. Como minutas, sin nada. Minutes. Minutes. Ok. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mira, solo eso pude escuchar que, que sería tu área de oportunidad y todo bien, súper bien. Ok. Let's finish with who was fine. Ricardo, Ricardo Figueroa, right? Okay, Ricardo, ready? One, two, three, action! Okay, good evening, everybody. Uh, the, my recipe tip is the perfect pizza. I work with alien. Uh, birds spread the jar of the pizza sauce all, all over the pizza crow. After that, the spring the mozzarella cheese or the top of the sauce. Next, put the slice of pepperoni on top of the of the cheese. Then drop the piece of the green paper and black olive oil over the pizza. Finally, turn the pizza in the oven and bake it for 25 minutes. Save it. Is the steady hop and enjoy. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So let's see the three words that I was able to catch. Si alguna vez hacen este ejercicio con otro profesor o conmigo, um, siempre ustedes eh, están escuchando a su compañero, busquen áreas de oportunidad y anótenlas, ¿ok? De esta manera podría ser. Esto es lo que yo escuché y, y esta es la palabra, ¿no? La pronunciación que escuché de su compañero. Sí. So, the spread, spread, decía spread, right? Spread, right? spread. Spread. Como sandwich, spread, untar, spread, okay? Slice. Faltó el sonido final. S slice. Okay? Slide, no, slice, 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 okay? Sonidos finales, Ricardo. Esa es nuestra área de oportunidad esta noche. Sonidos finales. Everybody, 25. 25. 25. Yes? 25. Okay. Slice. Spread. Ojo, ojo. No oí una E al principio, eh. Es una S. Slice. Okay. Good guys, very good. Okay, just to finish today, um, let's move to your next topic on your, oh well, let's look at the, um, 
the knowledge check that you have on your platform really quick, okay? You should have already completed this on the platform. So I'm gonna make it bigger for you. Okay. Okay, so which snack, let's see, which snack does this recipe describe? When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. Is it a pizza, toasted bagel, or popcorn? Popcorn. 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 So that's the way you say grano de maíz, right? Kernels? Yeah, kernels. Okay, what is the last step in making Molly dip? No, 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 no. What is the last step? Final pepper and hot sauce. Finally, and the little right? Because we're talking about we're talking about this guy here. We're talking about uh, adverbs of sequence, right? Very good. That's the last one. What's the first step in making a toasted bagel? What is first the step in a house in house? First. Yeah. First, cut in half first. That's the one. Cut right. in house. And which sequence adverbs are not interchangeable? First and finally. First, first and finally. Finally. Awesome. You're done. Oh my God. That was awesome. Okay. Good. So now, let's talk about your next talk, which is um, the future. Listen, the future is not feature, feature, no, future. Feature. There we go, okay. So future, not feature. Feature son las, um, la ventaja de un equipo electrónico, no? Los, the features, the características de un producto electrónico, the features. It's, this is the future. So, future tense is what we used to discuss our plans and hopes. Okay, in this lesson, learn how to use going to and will to convert a statement to the future tense. So, let's see. Let's talk about future. De hecho, la palabra will Por sí sola significa voluntad. Ok. Por eso cuando hablas con will, son planes a futuro. Tienes la voluntad de hacerlos, usualmente no los llevas a cabo. Si ocupas going to, es seguro que lo vas a hacer porque textualmente estaría diciendo voy a hacer tal cosa. ¿Ya? En cambio con will, y ojo con esto, will es otro modal que agrega la partícula R -E al verbo. Si yo digo, I will eat, estoy diciendo, comeré. Si yo digo, I am going to eat, textualmente estoy diciendo, yo voy a ir a comer. Ok? So, es más seguro que nada, ¿no? So, just think about it. Ok? Let's watch this video to finish the class. Please study this topic so we can cover it in deep on the next class, okay? Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to talk about future plans. You'll also learn how to use be going to and will as you're expressing your future plans. For example, I'm gonna go to France for my next vacation. I'm not sure what place I'll visit yet, but I think I'll visit the Eiffel Tower. Before I explain the grammar involved in this lesson, I would like to play an audio program to illustrate how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going? 
Está bien raro ese video, ¿verdad? No se mueve como debería de serlo. Do. One second. Going to load it again. Yeah. That's really weird. To do. I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends. Okay. To illustrate how this topic is used, your task is to listen carefully and take notes as I'll ask a few questions about this listening activity at the end. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll hang out with my friends and watch some movies. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin. We're going to go surfing every day. And my cousin likes to fish, so maybe we'll go fishing one day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. That's great. The more the merrier. By the way, where are we going to stay? Oh, we can stay at my aunt and uncle's beach house. They have plenty of room, and I'm sure they'll be happy to have guests. I'll call in tonight to let them know what time we're going to arrive. I guess we'll leave pretty early. There's a direct bus every morning at 5 a.m. That's fine with me. I think I'll be too excited to sleep. Now let me present this structure. What we want to do in this lesson is learn how to talk about future plans using going to and will. Now for the main part, both of those are quite similar when you express future plans or when you express things about the future. But what we're going to learn in this class is that we're going to use be going to whenever you talk about something that you've decided on. That's the key here. Something that you've decided on, we're going to use be going to. So let me give you a quick example about that. Let's say that you're going to take a vacation. You already bought the plane ticket. You already got permission from your job. So it's very unlikely that you'll change these plans. In order to express these ideas, you're going to use be going to to express that. So for example, I'm going to take vacations next week. I'm going to go to f France. That's just a quick example there. Um, you're almost sure that that event will happen. On the other hand, let's say that you're gonna, uh, you want to take vacation, but you don't know yet. You haven't even asked your boss about it yet. And so um, you're chatting with some friends and they ask you, so what are you planning to do for your vacations? And maybe you respond, well, I'm not sure. I guess I'll go to Europe next month, but I don't know. I haven't Okay, uh, our time is over, but I think that was a little bit clear. Just give you an idea of tomorrow's topic. Solo les quería dar la idea del, del tema de mañana. Uh, ¿Quiénes ya pueden más o menos manejar el futuro? You see? Show me your hand. Show me your hand. Set off? No? Okay. Carlos? No. Alain? Yeah. It's very simple. It's muy sencillo. Solo hay dos maneras. Y um, vamos a ver la estructura detalladamente. Les recuerdo, espero que hayan seguido el consejo y hayan empezado a aplicar en un verbo positivo o negativo pregunta de los tiempos gramaticales que ya se pueden. Eso, todos los días, escriban en un cuaderno, ¿sí? Eh, ya vimos el presente perfecto, ahora vamos a entrar al futuro. Es de empezar, ¿no? I am going to, I am not going to, am I going to. I will go to, I will not go to, or I uh, won't. Sí, Alain. Oh, nothing, teacher. Sorry. No. Sorry. Okay, so let's practice that. Tomorrow we will see the structure and we will apply it on a fun way, okay? Did you like today's class? Was it today good? Yeah? Okay. We'll see you tomorrow to provide you more feedback. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.